Hey guys, this is Han. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my tips on organizing your pantry closet. And these are tips that has been tried and true that we've implemented for the last two years since we moved, moved into the house. And it's been working really well. So here goes. Hack number one is to use Dollar Tree bins to hold your smaller pantry goods. This is the overview of the three shelves of Dollar Tree bins. The first shelf holds dry seasoning such as sea salt and whole black pepper and I also have marinades and sauces to the right. The second shelf has more sauces that I use the most such as oyster sauce, fish sauce and soy sauce to the right um, and obviously extra sriracha and to the left I have extra packets of dry noodles and I also have nuts and beans. The third shelf has snacks so it's just really easy to access and grab on the go. I have granola bars, peanut butter, chips, waffles, and toast and then to the right are baking goods. Hack number two is to use these wire racks to maximize the space on the size of the walls. So we have these three tier door wall rack um, meant for the door but we're actually using it on the sides of the pantry closet to hold our excess um, baggies and aluminum foil, plastic wrap on the right side and to the left I have extra chili oil, extra canned chicken broths and loose leaf teas from Tivana at the bottom. Hack number three is to use a can dispenser rack and this I found at a home goods for $7.99 and it's just a very easy way to organize your canned goods and be able to dispense and you know rotate through your older canned goods from your newer ones. Hack number four is to use up the space behind the door of your pantry closet and here I found an over the door hooks from Dollar Tree, believe it or not, so snatch these up when you have a chance. And here we use it to hang our matching aprons. Hack number five is to maximize the height of your pantry closet by storing bulkier items at the very top of shelf of your pantry, such as extra flour, sugar, gallons of water, and vinegar. And hack number six is to maximize the floor of your pantry closet by storing odd-shaped items in a plastic tote. Here I have to-go containers, a box of ramen noodle, and disposable platters and aluminum tins. Here's the final look of the pantry organization and I hope these hacks help you get organized and be more efficient in your kitchen. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Stay inspired.